Hello, YouTube, and welcome to part 19 of Mega Man Battle Rock 1. Now it's time to read our emails. It says from last time. Now time for one. Hey, Yai's birthday is coming out. Up. Uh, wanna come with me to buy a present? Meet in front of the Metro Line station. Okay, write me back. She goes shopping with her. I like how it goes to ah, land road response. New downtown ACDC Metro line opens today. That's nice. It's no time to give the response because we can't just go into their house and then just simply go and give it to her. We have to actually go through the net, which makes no sense anyway. That's good. Yes, I cannot decode data nowadays. Email. Thanks for this help. Yeah, there is official mail now. And that is a good thing. supposed to enter the metro and then come back out which makes absolutely no sense okay so now we have to go ahead downtown fun first we have more email the ballers greetings and the density rep tell us about the waterworks virus. WWW's viruses are getting worse, so be on your guard. That was very useful, battle mail. So now we have to go to Den Town. And time to go there. Uh. And we've got more mail. Okay, so now we have to go to block one. Yeah, so now we got row two, which is much better than row one. Just 80 damage to 60, which is an improvement. Pow, now I can do more damage. Now when I first played this game, I did not know that you could do this. Yeah, I just found out that you can do that by accident, and you can actually like, travel between the different places. But I did not know that when I was first playing this game. Which was way after I got Battle Nerf 2, which was my first game. Which was, um, Mega Man Battle Nerf related. Now, wherever in the world Block 1 happens to be, I don't know. Let's also look at here. Block 2. First, let's go to the Antique Soft Shop. Ooh, lots of fun. <laughs> Let's see if we can beat the Mew. Oh, great. I have a feeling I'm gonna die, but whatever. Once again, this is another optional battle. And this time, it's actually required that you beat him, at least at some point of the game. Because of the fact that now this time you actually need her little link to get to an area in the game which you need to progress through within the game. Now here's the attack which is going to be the thing which I hate the most. Not the fire attack, it's the attack where he does that. It is annoying enough to deal with spies. It is annoying fire attack. Strongman is significantly easier than this dude, than the other one. Ow. And as soon as I say that, then I die. Ugh. 
Uh, I will get you someday. We will get you someday. Okay, I kind of look for a block one. Whatever they, that may be. And I can see this place does not have any bus stops on it. I think it's this area. Maybe this is block one. I like how the traffic lights work. Pretty cool. They have their own little time system of when they will feel like changing where you can move. Block four. Run. I don't want to go to block four. Finally, now I'm block one. Now, as soon as you can do the sign, the mail comes out the door. All the traffic lights all go crazy. And now, now it's green both ways. That's not good. A! Watch out. What? A? The letter A? An accident! For some reason, the cars are literally exploding instead of spinning around. Instead of spinning it around, they simply explode. That's cruel. Whoever is driving those cars, like countless people are like dying now because of exploding cars. Aww. Wait, he knows that it's from the WWW. It's from Todd. The waterworks incident is the next. Anyway, ice attacks. I found the power. The ice power is aqua base. Of course it is. There's a civilian navy on the work server. An elementary school students. Some kind of wannabe hero. It seems the Dentown auto drive system has malfunctioned. But we have WWW have created a program to solve the problem. Just install it in your car or computer and it'll run like new. It's a little pricey at, at one million zenny, but it's worth it. On sale at Dentown Central only when supplies last. Oh, that's nice. Oh no. I don't know why we why, why can't, we can't stop them. The game's like, no, you're not allowed to stop it. You have to save cars if they're crashing into each other. Randomly. Oh, it's supposed to jack into the traffic light with a little thing on it. And there we go. And now, welcome to the second most annoying world in the game. It's not that I don't like this place, this place is fun. Just that it's annoying. Whenever you pass an orb, the light changes from green from blue to red. The point of the maze is to get to the other is to get for a circle. And you get there when it's blue. I mean not when it's blue, but when it's red. So that way you end up changing the light. And also over here you find you finally find the most annoying person in the game. Actually not the most annoying, but the most powerful. Actually, never mind. Not most powerful, but most overpowered. It's fire and water. Together, it's the end of the world! I also like how the fire... The fire... How nothing happens to fire when water is on the same panel as it. Yay, on with this world. This is like the first area which makes it really easy. There's like hardly any chance to mess up. Ooh, and now we have puffies and um poofies. Or actually I didn't think they were called buffies in Bell too. 
And most of these names are from Balanark 2. Because a lot of the enemies from Balanark 1 are in Balanark 2. Now. Yeah, Puffies and Buffies are all in. Both in Balanark 2. So we put the heater chip. Which pretty much does not make any sense now because now there are other like a P a program events called bubble spread. And that's all for today, folks. Bye.